Get Steve Kovac with more on these details. Give us the, the lowdown here. What's going on? Yeah, Scott. So this is about the Digital Markets Act, or DMA. It's a law in the EU that just went into effect a few weeks ago, and it's, it's targeting big tech companies, especially Apple. And in Apple's case specifically, they're going to be required to allow third-party app stores, meaning, in theory, iPhone apps in Europe will be able to dodge those fees that we always hear developers complaining about when they make their apps. But look, the EU is not going to start enforcing the DMA until the spring of 2024. And this report we're talking about from Bloomberg shows that Apple is building the system now in case they have to use it later. And look, Scott, you can bet Apple is going to do everything they can to water down the effects of the DMA between now and then. But if it happens and they have to comply in full to it, gaming companies are actually going to be the big winners here. Companies like Microsoft and Epic Games would love to have their own app stores on the iPhone. Gaming is the most lucrative lucrative part of the app store, Scott. Does it mean anything for what, I mean, the, the biggest controversy right now, or certainly one of them around Apple, is the very issue here in the United States, right? The Spotify right. fighting with them and Riot and others, you know, making noise. Does this have any bearing on, on that conversation? Only in the EU, Scott. So what this would, this would make the Bumbles and Spotify's and match groups of the world very happy to see this actually go into effect in the EU because, in theory, if they don't like Apple's App Store rules, they can go to another third-party app store that could theoretically offer them a more favorable deal. But again, according to this one report, Scott, this was most interesting to me. It looks like they're only developing this for the EU, meaning if this all goes through and all goes according to the EU's plan, there will be a different version of iOS in the EU versus what we use here in the United States. And I read into that as Apple is willing to fight this country by country in order to protect their profits in the App Store. Yeah, really interesting. I think they've, they've kind of made the case, that they, at least they've dug into the point that they seem willing to do that. Steve, thank you for sure the thing. latest there. That's Steve Kovac.